So we're actually starting right outside a lumber mill here because I have just retrieved a whole bunch of wood because I realized that my lumber mill apparently got destroyed or something in some attack or another. And so I'm going to need to build another one. So let's go over to our buildings here, build the lumber mill. As you can see, I basically just have enough iron and all that sort of other stuff. And there we go. So that's what we're going to do now. Thank you very much, by the way. Everyone in the comments has been extremely helpful. And basically, I found out, thanks to your comments, that apparently the Spetsnaz and their assault rifle proficiency has been changed. Because beforehand, they had 100 in assault rifles. And now they have only 18. So that is kind of kind of bad you know it's kind of bad for them to be running around with you know assault rifles all of them having assault rifles and they have 18 which is basically like me running around with 18 proficiency and being absolutely awful it's, it's basically the same thing that's exactly the reason why they're not hitting anything and why they're dying a lot so check your proficiencies friends yes definitely check your proficiencies before you head into battle anyway what I've been doing is swapping the Spetsnaz out and swapping their weapons around as well. So basically, uh, Atacama is our new really good Spetsnaz squad with the exception of these two guys because they still have rifles of some kind. This is actually a... Oh no, this is actually a rifle. Oh, interesting. Oh, okay. That is actually a rifle. Okay, so that's very good. Okay, so now this is not. This is an assault rifle, so I'm going to need to remove that from him. Otherwise, all of these guys have sniper rifles or rifles of some kind, and they're going to be amazing now. They're going to be much, much better than they used to be. I, I, I'm i not entirely sure I agree with the whole 100 shotgun proficiency. I mean, Spetsnaz technically are shock troops, kind of. So, you know, you would expect them to be pretty good from close range, but... I'd expect them to still be good at assault rifles as well, but that's just me. That's just me. Anyway, point is, it's been changed. So now I'm going to have to do a little bit of switching up, suffice it to say. So yeah, let's actually just go in here. As you can see, I've actually just bought all the rifles, so I will be unable to buy any others here. So uh, Gorinka actually has a whole bunch of buildings being built at the moment. Oh, it's actually under siege. It's got 33 in the, you know, it has 33 in the, in, in the garrison here. It has 33 in the garrison. I'm actually kind of surprised that these guys wanted to attack us so significantly because they are going to get absolutely murdered in every single respect, but okay. Anyway, another person, uh, I think literally just now, I literally just checked the comments and someone literally like, I don't even know, five minutes ago has left a comment basically saying that Igor and indeed all companions need the financial skill to be effective in recruiting units and i was i was a bit dense on this i thought to myself oh they'll just get the funds from somewhere you know they'll just <laughs> i'm i'm yeah I, I obviously did not kind of connect the dots so to speak and actually have them you know uh, you know i did not think that they actually required financial i actually thought that they i thought financial was more of a thing to do if you were equipping a uh, companion to be a mayor of some kind so yeah my bad my bad so we're, we're gonna go and um, apologize profusely to Igor because obviously he is really really under leveled and under skilled for the amount of leadership that I actually gave him because I thought to myself oh he has uh, you know he has 10 leadership he's gonna be able to field a massive army but no no realistically is he going to be able to do that if he doesn't have the finances? No, of course not. So thank you very much for letting me know about that. That's really very, very helpful. And uh, I will hopefully be able to make the adjustments necessary. Now I'm going to ask you a question. Do you like seeing the sort of financial and various other little bits of progress that I tend to make here? So do I, you know, do you, do you like to see that kind of stuff? Or do you just like to see battles? Because I know that there's kind of a split... It's kind of a split sort of, uh, shall we say, line down the community that basically is just like, I want to see only battles. I want to see, you know, more more management. I want to see this and this and this. So I'd like to like to hear your opinion on that. So by all means, leave it down in the comments, and then I'll do my best to accommodate. But obviously, I try to I try to balance things. A pretty nice deal here. So who knows? Maybe maybe we'll see what's going on 
with the community in that respect. But uh, otherwise, I'm going to just be a bit careful here because I really don't want to get myself killed too much. Thank you very much. Because obviously in the previous episode, we did have a bit of a problem with eliminating the last remaining unit in a siege. And all of my Spetsnaz units are kind of bad now because they do not have the weapons that would be good for them and that makes me sad <laughs> it makes me very sad indeed because I spent a lot of time trying to get those AKM 74s on these guys and it's just a shame really so yeah I'm gonna now have to do something even even more costly by by purchasing these these rifles because these rifles are actually even though you may think hey these rifles are not that expensive yeah they actually are very expensive and uh, it's kind of bad it's kind of bad so yeah that is awful oh yeah also someone actually let me know that the optics on this scope right here the scope that I'm using right now are a little bit off so basically the reticule the crosshair is a little bit lower than where you're actually firing. So if you have a look at the crosshair here, and I'm actually not shooting at this guy, but if you see that I actually fire, he's gonna, you see, look at that, I hit that guy, even though the crosshair was not on him. So that's the main thing that we gotta take away from that. We gotta take away from, from it that we have to just aim a little bit lower than where the crosshair says, and then we will have a, uh, a decent time of things with our accuracy. And there's only three enemies remaining, so we should be able to deal with them relatively simply. Alright, so there you go. The invaders were destroyed. Pretty decent amount of credits. Obviously, we're going to need to recuperate some of our losses here and there. And a nice amount of iron there as well. I might try to find another lumber mill close by because I feel like I'm probably going to need some additional wood to get our construction up and running. Now, I did sell a whole bunch of prisoners, but you may have seen that one of my squads has changed considerably. This one, Antarctica. Antarctica used to be complete Spetsnaz, right? Well, I've actually cannibalized the entirety of the Spetsnaz presence in this squad, and I have distributed them to Gobi and Atacama, because obviously the Spetsnaz are not as, well, they are good with rifles, but they are obviously not as effective with what they currently have in their hands. So, you know. So in other words, what I did was I recruited all of the VFA fighters from my prisoner's hold, and I put them into this one squad, and it just so happens that I had seven of them, which is kind of crazy. So we're just going to level those guys up as well. As you can see, they are actually ones that come with 65 assault rifle proficiency, which I'm very, very pleased about. They actually have... <laughs> Amusingly enough, they actually have more rifle proficiency. Can you believe it? That's kind of crazy. Anyway, yeah. So that's that's basically what's going on right here. We're going to level up our forces a little bit more. And I might actually be calling all of our companions. Actually, my the only other companion that we have out there, I think, is Yevgen. So is, it, is, he, is he here? Or is, is this? No, this is Igor, yeah. So it might make sense for me to get Yevgen back as well. So anyway, we're, um, hmm. Yeah, daily income of the NPC army. It, it says it. I'm just, I'm just a bit dense. So, yeah, forgive me for that. Forgive me. Anyway, uh, probably go for another bit of city management. And then we're probably going to make Anna into a mayor now. And I want to appoint you mayor of Gorinka, I suppose. Let's uh, let's have a do that. And let's see how that goes. I, I hope it's going to go well. Hopefully it's going to go well. Okay, so Igor, you have two points. I'm going to actually start getting you financial now, friend. Because you really need it. <laughs> my bad, my bad. Anyway, so that is done. That's fantastic. So, yeah, Anna is going to obviously start doing that. Yeah, there, there she goes. Okay, ooh, nice. It's actually really cool that she, she can go in there. That is really, really cool. All right, so otherwise, let's go to Drobin, and we will see if we can potentially buy some additional rifles and things like that and try and get our forces a little bit outfitted in better things. 43,000 taxes right there, so we now have 155,000 once again. I was actually thinking of getting... Uh, I know that some people have been saying to me that I should get trained marksmen because apparently they are really good. So I'm going to hire one of those just to have a look and see how good they, they really are. And then otherwise, we should probably get a couple of rifles if I can. 
There's only two rifles here. Yeah, uh, that's, the, that's the main problem with having units that are really good at using rifles. There are not that many in each of the marketplaces. You know, there's, there's two SKKSs here, which is fine. You know, usually that would be enough. But there are so many more assault rifles. It's just crazy. Okay, so we're just going to get these two SKKSs. And I will sell the M16s, I think. And the AKMs. Because... Well, I mean, yeah, we're going to use them a little bit, but I, I want to kind of try and dent, the, try and uh, re reduce, shall we say, reduce the blow that we're actually going to be taking there. And what do they have in storage here? Uh, we could take some luxury wine, actually, because we could sell that. That's pretty good. Selling that is really quite lucrative. And I think one of my buildings is actually doing that, which is pretty cool. And one day for the iron factory here, which is really nice, too. Okay, so let's go to Berezno. And uh, Yevgen was absolutely, absolutely fantastic in the previous episode, wasn't he? Look at him. Look at him. He's got 44 prisoners. Would you sell those to me? <laughs> Let's exchange prisoners. Oh, they actually allow you to do that. That is crazy. I love it. Wow, that is kind of amazing. Okay, so look at that. He has so many. All right, so I'm just going to take as many Cossack rebel fighters as I can get my hands on. Take some more of these guys too. Take some mounted bandits. I don't have any more space. And let's talk later. Thank you. All right. So, uh, yeah. And Berezno actually has 23,000 to collect with taxes as well. So we're obviously going to be doing that. And now I will be going to the bar to sell our prisoners. As you can see, the Cossack Rebel Fighters will sell for 4.6k each. Now, technically... What I could do is I could take these guys and I could put them into the garrison. Do I want to do that instead? Mm, yeah, I'm not entirely sure. Because the main thing that you got to consider here is that I don't have that much space. As you can see, I actually have 38 of 44. I, actually, maybe I can rectify that in just a second. Let's, let's level up my leadership a little bit more. And I only have another point to level up into Diplomacy. I'm not a big fan of that, so maybe we'll not do that. Anyway, I'll just level up my Assault Rifle Proficiency. We now have 97 in it, so we will be an absolute force to be reckoned with, unlike our Spetsnaz units, of course. Alright, so this guy can finally use a proper weapon. There we go. And now everyone here has a nice weapon. I'm actually just going to give them all SKK. Oh, he doesn't have enough to be able to... He's not high enough level to be able to use that just yet. Okay, well, that's absolutely fine. No problem there. All right, so let's have a look at some of the other Spetsnaz. So this guy's still using an AKM. Let's give him the SKKS. And that is indeed that. I, I don't think I can give anyone else anything better. I might want to auto-equip these. No, they don't have anything better. All right, so we have a trained marksman here. Let's take a look at him. All right, so his assault rifle proficiency is 17. So he is, I mean, they come with these, which are crazy good rifles. But uh, apart from that, they are not great in terms of their assault rifle uh, proficiency. So uh, don't know what's going on there. Maybe we need to try and find something else. Maybe a militia rifleman. Yeah, they have 60, but militia riflemen, they're not going to have the most amazing stats across the board. So obviously that's a bit of a... A bit of a shame. Uh, let's give this guy... He has eight in marksmanship, so I guess we'll give him a scar. Why not? First aid kit as well. And we'll, we'll put him over with the... Gobi squad, I guess? Why not? Why not? Alright, so that's pretty good. Okay, so now what we can do is... We can go into our buildings here and we can have a look and see what we can actually get. Now, steel helmets. I actually did build an armor factory in Gorinka and steel helmets are very low, 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 low level. They're actually very low level. So they're not actually going to be something that I would like to get more often. Trained infantry might actually be something that I want to get because trained infantry might actually be what I'm looking for in regards to some people that can actually use assault rifles much, much better than Spetsnaz. So we have militia snipers here, militia riflemen, armed bodyguards. Armed bodyguards might actually be really, really cool too, so maybe I should... Eh, you know what? I'm just going to leave it, and I think I'm actually just going to get that building. Should I get that building? Trained infantry might be really fun. Hmm. Should I? Maybe? I mean, what else can I get here? 
I mean, some, some good stuff. Like, I mean, we can get uh, maybe lumber mill, but that's obviously going to require a lot of uh, a lot of iron and wood and things like that. And I only have four, so let's just go for an infantry college, and we'll see how that goes. Pretty happy with that, to be honest. And we'll just sell all of these. Fresno number of prisoners you can take. Oh, okay. So uh, they actually have some prisoners in the uh, in the prisoners hold there as well. But I'm actually just going to sell them personally. I mean, yeah, you can put them into the garrison there, but I don't have really enough space in my... Hmm. I actually do now because I spec'd into leadership. My bad. <laughs> I just remembered. I just remembered. Okay. It's actually not even a big deal because Yevgen actually has 30 more prisoners. So theoretically, I can basically just go to him. No, I don't. I don't want that. Thank you. Let's exchange prisoners. There we go. So armored marauders are pretty good. Mountain bandits are still pretty good. And also desert bandits. They're, they're pretty nice too. So let's do that. There we go. And now we can actually recruit them. And obviously it's going to take a... Yeah, I need to also wait a day because my persuasion is uh, is out, basically. The, uh, the amount of persuading that I can do is out. So we'll just put them all in the garrison here and then we'll do it at a later point. But there you go. All right, so what we're going to do is I think we're actually going to be attacking the uh, Atov, I believe. Atov, is it? Uh, I think so. Mm. I mean, that's the thing. I'd like to maybe get some more rifles if at all possible. So maybe we can do that. Let's have a look. Oh, we got some more rifles here. There's some more rifles. SVD that requires 11 marksmanship, which is, I think, probably too much for what our forces currently have. So that will probably not be something for us. But we could use these. Wow, 22,000? They're that expensive? They are really that expensive? Are you serious? Okay, that's kind of crazy. Anyway, let's just uh, sell a couple of the AKMs then, I guess. I mean, I have 180,000. I suppose it is not really that expensive when you when you think about it, but... Yeah, I'm actually just really surprised that the assault rifle changed so dramatically. The assault rifle proficiency, that is. So let's give them VA Val and a VA Val. There we go. And then we'll just reward some of our troops here as well. There we go. All right, so I now have a party size of 52. I actually would like to get some more command skill as well. So hopefully we'll be able to do that at some point in the future. Now, these guys are actually already at war against me. These guys, I believe. The Oh, these are the FCA. Oh. Uh, is that Atov over there? Federal Machine Gunners. Hmm, let me actually just take a quick look. Yeah, that is Atov over there, so it might make sense for me to actually attack them because they are the ones that are actually at war against basically everyone. And that's definitely something we want to do. Oh, look at that. Gorinka now has 52 in the garrison thanks to Anna. I believe she is actually automatically garrisoning people as well, which is really cool. Uh, shall we go in? Shall we go in versus these guys? I guess we well, I guess we will. All right. I am prepared. This is going to be a bit difficult because we are outnumbered so significantly. Now, the main issue here is that I wanted Yevgen to come and assist us, but then I thought to myself, well then we're leaving ourselves wide open for any kind of counterattack. So that's why I decided, hey, you know what? Let's just leave him where, where you know where he is and then we'll try and do our very best by ourselves. Now we have 28 and all of my forces are as geared up as you can possibly get them, maybe with the exception of our new Antarctica squad, because the new Antarctica squad does not have a super hardcore amount of good armor vests. So that obviously is a bit of a problem because they are very, very lightly armored. They might very well die quite easily. So this might be a grand mistake but it is definitely something that I would like to be able to do here because if we can do this then it's going to basically make it easy or easier for us to take some additional territory so we'll see how it goes because these guys have machine gunners right they have machine gunners and they have they are definitely something that we have not been up against these are actual military units like real military units, like really, really serious people. So we might, we might have some problems, you know, we might have some issues. Anyway, as you can see, oh, what, what? <laughs> That's a lot of enemies, isn't it? That is a, that is a lot of people. Right. Guess we'll have to get up here then. Yes. I think we'll probably have to get up here. That sounds like a good plan to me. 
Does it? Does it sound like a good plan to you? Not really. No, probably not. I have a bad feeling, actually. Oh, they've all disappeared. Oh, no, there, there you go. They appeared again. All right, so I... Uh, these guys are going to try and flank us, aren't they? They're going to try and flank us. Okay, so we've got to be a bit careful here. Uh, I think we'll probably just leave one of my forces, like, around here somewhere. This is still... This is kind of heightened, heightened ground. A little bit. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay, so we've already got one flag up. And if we take all of the flags, we win automatically, I think. So if we can make that happen, we'll be in a really good position. But uh, you see that? Yeah, that's their final flag. I'd like to be able to... You know, I could actually take this flag. I could take this flag super easily by myself, actually. Hmm. Uh, should I do something audacious? There's a whole bunch of enemies over there. I'm going to get shot almost immediately. I am a bit worried. I am a bit worried. Okay, well, let's just see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. Maybe I'll be able to... Ooh, hello. Okay, I'm being shot at. Not entirely sure from where, but I'm being shot at. Oh, hello. Ah, there we go. There's a, there's a person. Got him. Oh, they're, they're not that difficult. They die in two hits from my shots. Oh, I actually hit him in the head that one time, so I guess that's the reason. <laughs> ah, dear. Oh, there we go. Oh, they're actually not even that bad. They're not that bad, but maybe they're going to be more difficult than I anticipate as we go forward here. Because obviously, we're, we're up against it. Literally up against it yeah so these guys you're, you're gonna need to come over here like really quickly oh train train marksman already got himself killed okay that's not good can you please get over here or are you are you uh, are you actually shooting at stuff i think they are actually shooting at stuff so i guess that's fine there's so much firing right now that i think yeah <laughs> Okay, you know what? I'm gonna try something audacious here. I don't think it's gonna work. Let's face it. Wow, this is this, this is kind of crazy. Okay. Uh, hey guys. Oh no, I, I really don't like it when there are bushes because I can't actually see anything, and they can see me. I think. Uh, I think I'm dead. Yep, I am super dead. Super, super dead. But we only took one casualty, and we did eliminate 10 enemies. But that was a very good lesson in what is actually going on there. Yeah, okay, so we lost 16,000 credits, and we lost an AKM-74 and some flour. That's actually not even a big deal to me. I really don't mind about that whatsoever. But that was that's actually pretty cool. That is actually a pretty cool little test there, because the basically the only thing that's actually stopping us from taking that is numbers. They have, obviously, an overwhelming amount of numbers, which is definitely something that we need to be a bit more aware of. But I think I'm pretty, I'm pretty optimistic about being able to take that. If we get, if we get Igor and uh, we get Yevgen over here, uh, he's actually battling some Cossack rebels right now. I really need to get, you know, get him some, uh, get him some additional levels, this guy, because he is pretty fantastic at what he does. And he's got such a small amount of skills, and it would be kind of a shame for us to not reward him as such. But anyway, Gorinka is doing pretty well so far, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to reassign Anna. And she is going to be cancel. I'm going to cancel her mayorship, and then she is going to go to Drobin. Hopefully she will be able to get there without being murdered. I hope. I, I think she... D does she automatically just go there, or does she travel along the map? She travels along the map. Okay, that's... That, ooh, that, that's, uh, that's, that's dicey. That's dicey. I'm a bit worried about this. I'm going to try and uh, escort her, because I don't want her to... Where, where are you running? Where are you running? It's over there. It, yeah, thank, thank you. Phew. Okay, I was, I was a bit worried there for a second, but anyway. I think... I think the future looks bright for the Reformian rebels. For the moment. <laughs> for the moment, at least. 
But uh, yeah, I'm going to look out for some potentially easier to take things. Maybe, maybe this is easier? Whoa, 29 sharpshooters. Yeah, certainly not that. Wow. Okay, yeah, we're definitely going to need to do some leveling up or something like that. And we'll see what we can do about it after that. But yeah, I'm going to need to, as I say, do some remodeling of our party as well. And, uh, well, hopefully just get some more people, basically. Just get some more people that can actually use good assault rifles. And and uh, maybe actually, yeah, you know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to get my Antarctica squad better vests. Because as you can see, they can actually only use, or they're only using these. And I need to get them much better ones. Anyway, that will be it for this episode. I thank you very much for watching. And I will see you next time.